Brave. I'm Caillou. Caillou was chasing Leo round the jungle gym. They were pirates, and Leo had stolen his <laughs> ship. Caillou was determined to get it back. <laughs> Arr! You can run, but you can't hide! It was show and tell at school. Caillou was excited, but nervous to speak in front of his class. Okay, Caillou, ready when you are. What have you got to show us today? <gasps> this rope was my grandpa's. He gave it to me for my birthday. <sighs> he loves to fish. At weekends, he takes me with him and we catch all kinds. Careful, Caillou. Don't go overboard. If you want to catch a fish, you need three things. A rod, some bait, and a strong knot. <laughs> and some patience. What's that? <laughs> it's waiting even when you don't want to. Now, what you want to do is have a strong knot so that the bait doesn't fall away or get bitten off by the fish you're trying to catch. All we need to do now is wait. Once Caillou had thought back to those fun weekends, he stopped feeling so scared. He taught me how to fish, how to put a worm on the line, even how to steer the boat. And best of all, he showed me how to tie this cool knot. Oh. See, you pass the end over itself like this. Then under and around the standing end, like this. It's called a figure eight. Real sailors use it for all kinds of things. That was excellent, Caillou. I think we all learned something. That was awesome. Thanks. At recess, I'll show you how to... Caillou, listen up. I want to go outside and show Leo my figure eight. Well, you need to be patient. You might learn something new. My daddy took me sailing this summer. He bought me this model sailing boat so that I can always remember. <gasps> if you want to go slow, you need to pull the sail out like this. And when you want to go really, really fast, you need the wind to hit the sail right here. One day, I'm going to sail around the whole world. That was just excellent, class. See, Caillou, there's always something new to learn, and anyone can be a great teacher. Now, recess! All the kids were out playing in the sunshine. Mrs. Martin looked around, smiling. As she looked, she spotted Caillou and Jessie in a shaded corner by the jungle gym. A storm's coming, Jessie! We need to get out of here! We need to move fast! Push that sail out, Caillou! Mrs. Martin had no doubt about what game they were playing as Caillou and Jessie sailed their model boat through the air. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou to a big department store to buy Christmas presents for his best friends, Sarah, Clementine, and Leo. Wow! Look at all the Christmas decorations, Mommy! I know, they're very beautiful. A Christmas tree! That's the biggest one I've ever seen! Can we get one like that? <laughs> I don't think it would fit in our house, Caillou. Oh, look, Caillou. Maybe we can visit Santa's village after we finish shopping. Is Santa going to be there? Of course he will. We should get your friend's presents first, though. We don't want the shops to close. 
Caillou was leading the way through the shops when he spotted a little gap in between some clothes. He wondered if it led to a cave. Hmm, I wonder where Caillou could be. I don't know. I was sure he was here a minute ago. Here I am! Oh, there you are. <laughs> where did you find such a great hat, Caillou? It was in here. Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. He thought that the hat was very funny. Hey, look, a bookstore. Maybe we'll find a good present for your friends in there. Inside the bookstore, <laughs> Caillou could see lots and lots of books. He wondered how long it would take to read them all. Wow, there must be a jillion, zillion books in here. Hi, can I help you find something? I'm looking for Christmas presents for my friends. Well, that's very nice. Do any of your friends like reading? Yes, Clementine loves reading and looking at pictures. Wow, she sounds very clever. Well, I think I've got the perfect book for your friend Clementine. This is a book with very special pictures inside. Here, let me show you. <gasps> wow, a real life pirate. Cool, huh? His name is Steve. Steve? That's a funny name for a pirate. Say hello, Steve. Ahoy there! Look, Mommy, he's waving at me. So he is. So what do you think, Caillou? Would this be a good present for Clementine? It's perfect. Clementine loves pirates. In the sports section, Caillou looked at all different types of balls for sale. He wondered what games each one was used for. What's that ball for, Daddy? This one is used to play basketball. The players bounce the ball up and down, like this. Here, you try. Caillou tried to bounce the ball like Daddy showed him, but it was harder than it looked. Try with two hands, Caillou. It's easier to learn that way. Wow, it's really bouncy. What about that little one there? This one is a baseball. It's quite hard to catch, so the players wear a special glove to help them. Ready, Caillou? Catch! I did it! Did you see? Yes, that was a great catch, Caillou. Do any of your friends like baseball? No, I don't think so. Look what I found, Caillou. Caillou knew what this ball was used for. A soccer ball! This will be a perfect present for Sarah. She's the best soccer player I know. Hello, shoppers. The department store will be closing in 10 minutes. Ready to visit Santa's village, Caillou? Wait! We still need to find a present for Leo. I don't think Leo's family celebrates Christmas, Caillou. They celebrate a different holiday called Hanukkah. Caillou hadn't heard of Hanukkah before, but he knew that Leo liked presents and he didn't want to leave him out. Hanukkah? Hmm, I should go and ask Santa. He'll know what to do. Caillou was very excited, but also a little nervous. He'd never seen Santa before. Look, it's Santa. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. What's your name, little boy? I'm Caillou. It's nice to meet you, Caillou. Why don't you come over here and sit with me? So, what would you like for Christmas, Caillou? Actually, I'm here because I'm shopping for Christmas presents to give to my friends. I got a pop-up pirate book for Clementine because she loves reading and pirates, and a soccer ball for Sarah. She's the best soccer player ever. Well, Sarah and Clementine sound very lucky to have a good friend like you, Caillou. I wanted to get my friend Leo a present too, but Mommy says his family celebrates Hanukkah. Can I still get him a present? <laughs> of course you can. People give each other presents for Hanukkah just like they do at Christmas. Caillou was happy to hear he could still get Leo a present. But he suddenly remembered what the announcer had said. Oh no! The man said the shops are about to close! 
Don't worry, I think I've got the perfect present for you and your friend Leo right here. Hey, I've seen that funny hat before. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. Santa had two of the same funny hats he had found in the clothes store. Thank you, Santa. My pleasure, Caillou, and Merry Christmas! Caillou was so happy that he was able to meet Santa, and he couldn't wait to see his best friends play with the presents he had chosen. Caillou and his family went to a tree farm to pick up this year's Christmas tree. What about this one, Daddy? It's so big! <laughs> it is very big, Caillou. Maybe a bit too big for the living room. Let's find one that's a little smaller. Oh, okay. What about the ones over here, Caillou? I'm sure we'll still find one that's lovely and green, and it'll look even better once you and Rosie have decorated it. I guess so. Hey, how about you pick out the last few decorations once we bought the tree? Yes, please, Daddy! What do you think of this one, kids? Tree! Tree! Rosie likes this one, Mommy. I think we should get it. Great! I'll go get someone to help me get this on the car, and you and Daddy can pick out the last few decorations. Oh, wow! Let's go, Daddy! Caillou ran into the store. There were so many things to see, he didn't know where to begin. Oh, Daddy! I don't know what to choose! There are so many amazing decorations! Well, we need some more tinsel, some new lights, and a star for the top of the tree. Why don't you pick what you like and put it in the basket? Hmm... Red? Blue? Gold? Silver? Daddy! What about gold and red? Great idea! These will look so nice with the tree. What about the lights? There are white ones, colored ones, and flashing ones. The flashing colored ones! They look amazing! They do, don't they, Caillou? Hmm, now we just need a star for the top. Can you see where they are kept? Caillou knew what the shape of a star looked like, so he looked around the store <gasps> until he saw one. There, Daddy! Caillou, you shouldn't run off like that, so I can't see you. I know you're excited, but you need to stay safe. Okay, Daddy. I'm sorry. That's okay. I just don't want you to get lost. I just saw this awesome star, and I really want it for the tree. Wow, that is nice. Let's get that one. I'm sure Mommy and Rosie will love it. Let's get these and head back to the car. A kind man helped Mommy and Rosie attach the tree to the top of the car. Caillou was excited to show all the decorations to Mommy and Rosie that he and Daddy had bought. Mommy! We bought all the decorations! Where is the tree gone? It's in that bag on top of the car to protect it for the journey home. Oh, wow! I can't wait to get it home and decorate it! Are we going now? Yes, Caillou. Let's go back. Would you like some hot cocoa when we get home, too? Oh, yes, please, Mommy! I know I would. Coco! And Rosie. <laughs> Caillou couldn't wait for Daddy to finish putting up the tree. He wanted to cover it in all the pretty decorations they had bought. Whoops! Oh, dear. Are you okay, Caillou? Yeah, I'm fro- <gasps> Gilbert! Silly cat! You can't put up the decorations! 
Watch out for the baubles. Oh dear, what has happened here? You have got yourselves into quite a mess. I'm sorry, Mommy. Can we put the decorations on the tree now? That sounds like a great idea. Caillou helped put the colorful flashing lights around the tree, decorate with tinsel, and hang the baubles on the branches. <laughs> Even Gilbert lent a paw as well. Just the star on the top now. Would you like to do it, Caillou? Rosie should do it. <laughs> what a good big brother you are, Caillou. Wow, it looks amazing. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. Caillou was having lots of fun throwing snowballs in the park with Rosie. Watch out, Rosie, here it comes. But he couldn't get his snowballs to stay together. Why isn't this working? He wanted so badly to join in on the <laughs> snowball fight. My snowballs keep breaking. You've just got to pack it nice and hard so that it stays together, like this. Daddy had made the snowballs stick together, and Caillou wanted to test it out for himself. <laughs> What do you say we try something else before we make Mommy into a snowman? Snowman? Oh, I know! Let's build a snowman! Yay! Snowman! Oh, oh! I want to make a snowman with a big carrot nose and button eyes! <laughs> First, we need to make the snowman's body, Caillou. Why don't you and Rosie collect some snow, and Daddy and I will find sticks for the arms. Yeah! Caillou and Rosie were enjoying collecting the snow for their snowman. Great work, Caillou! Now let's see if we can make a nice, big, round ball. Caillou wasn't sure how to make his snowman so nice and round, but then he had an idea. Oh, I know! We have to pack it together, just like the snowballs! Snowballs! That's right! It's just like making big, round snowballs. Big, round snowballs! Wow! Our snowman looks great! The big snowman with the button eyes and the carrot nose made Caillou very happy. Look out! Suddenly, a sled came crashing into the snowman. Oh no! Our snowman! It was Leo. Caillou was sad that their snowman had fallen over, but he was happy to see Leo. Oh, hey Caillou! Leo, what are you doing here? I'm just trying out my new sled. Do you want to have a try? Sure. Mommy, Daddy, can I go play with Leo for a while? <laughs> of course, Caillou. Just be careful. Caillou couldn't wait to test out Leo's sled. So, it's really easy. You just get in and slide all the way down. Cool. The hill looked big and scary, and Caillou wasn't sure that he wanted to sled down it anymore. Don't worry, Caillou. Even if you fall, the snow is so soft that it won't hurt. Look! See? Doesn't hurt at all. I don't know, Leo. It's a long way down. Come on, let's do it together. Woohoo! Alright! Watch out, Caillou! <laughs> that was awesome! I told you it didn't hurt! <laughs> My snowman! <laughs> Caillou felt bad for knocking down the snowman. I'm sorry, Rosie. I didn't mean to knock down your snowman. 
I know! Why don't we build an even bigger snowman? Bigger snowman? Yeah! And this one will be just for you! Yay! Big snowman! Caillou had had a great day playing in the snow, and he was happy to be with Leo and his family. I can't wait to play in the snow again! Oh! <laughs> Snowball!